Hi guys, uh, welcome to my part two from ZKRM Logic Mixdown tutorial. Um, okay, I uh, hope you you have um, uh, you watched already my first part. Um, okay, um, let's say you are finished with you with your with all the volumes of your different tracks, uh, your audio tracks from the track one to your mixer, and below you have all your um, VSTI tracks. Okay, um, one thing is to mention here, which is very important. Um, whenever you set up your mixer, left mouse to PC, it only is recording or bouncing or bouncing down, um, track down all the audio tracks, not the the all the uh, A ASU tracks, and this is a problem. Um, whenever you set it up as ASIO, it only will record all the ASIO tracks or VSDI instruments. Now, here is a little trick what you can do. Set up um, the mixer as PC, okay, and then um, create a new audio track function, okay, track, create track, and set it up, uh, I think, uh, yeah, click on it, and then with the left mouse and choose a free audio track, which you can see, this is all free. So check one, you can double check if it's not used when you click on the R. So in this case, uh, double click on it, go to the mixer, here you can see you have chosen that, set it to stereo, and set up input one until two, okay? Then when you click on it, you can see it's not used anywhere. This is important that you don't have a double, uh, um, yeah, it's not marked as double R with red, okay? You know what I mean. Okay, so now mute everything, okay? And then you choose the MIDI file or MIDI track, what you like to uh, bounce down and um, leave it in the volume what you set up okay don't change it and then you start recording okay you do that i always start a little bit more before with the audio uh, with the um, marking the regions of course you can do it by region or until the end of the song okay so it doesn't matter in this case i make it short only for you to show you Okay, now I want to record this one. Very important is that it works, that you set up your sound card. I have um, a Sound Blaster uh, Odigi L, uh, 2 set S. Set it to all what you hear, okay? Here, MIDI, microphone, set it up as all what you hear. This is in German, was you hören. This is very important. Okay, so now you just go here to your uh, new audio track, you unmute it and you click on the keyboard, uh, the star, um, the X sign. Well, choose to record, yeah? Okay, I do it now. I start a little bit more before. Turn off your microphone, everything. Click the spacebar to end it. Okay, this is very important. Now you have uh, the MIDI sound from your VSTI track. You transformed it to an audio wave file. Okay, I mute everything except this one because I like to listen to it. It recorded everything now. Whenever you have set up like that, it will record everything. Turn off everything from your mixer, only the bass. Don't use any uh, chat or so when you he hear some sounds or so. And this sounds it like. Turn off your microphone, everything. Okay, you know what I mean, okay? Now, this is what you do with all the different um, VSDI tracks, the MIDI tracks, until you only have everything in audio. 
no MIDI, no MIDI anymore. Mostly I'm doing that, that I, I save all this under a version two. Okay, so this is what I have done. I think in this song here, I will check it. Oh, all this mystic uh, error messages all the time. Okay, I try to open now. The I don't know if I have done this with this track now, but I let I let's see if there are still some MIDI tracks. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what I have done here um, is I um, created a new audio uh, track and uh, just renamed it to Bounce Bass. This is the main bass. Actually, you can delete that, everything to get rid of all the MIDI regions, not to get confused, you know what I mean? Here you can see, here is um, here are the data which are transformed, transformed to a wave here and here the end. So you don't need that anymore, that you only have your audio uh, regions, your wave files. Now, what you do in this case, remember that when you bounce down your um, ASIO, your um, VSDI tracks with MIDI data, MIDI files, um, at the mixer choose ASIO, okay, as mentioned before. Now you change it to PC because you only want to bounce down all your audio tracks. Now, um, as I mentioned before, don't do this here. You don't need to fade out or whatever. Leave it at the normal. Uh, no, sorry. Okay, I have to stop. Nope. Now, um, important is to know whenever you click on R at the mixer, okay, you can see everything is marked from here to here. 1, 2, 7, 9, 3, leave it at 24 bits. There is a reason behind it. Only wave, okay? There is no MP3. There, there is a reason behind it, what I'd like to tell you later. Now, what is important, uh, if you like to um, master your end, so, end song, you can do this in WaveLab. I set up another tutorial how to do that, to uh, make your sound more brilliant with WaveLab, with a finished song in Logic. You open it in WaveLab and then you, you're choosing the different presets to um, make your sound a little bit more brilliant. Okay, so the more quieter, uh, the lower the volume is, the better is it later on in WaveLab. So go to the mixer, double click on it and put it to one third down, uh, two third down, like that. So it's still not too quiet for you. you, were your when you do that, okay, uh, when you're starting to do that, or they're just um, trying to tell you, check audio, go to hardware driver, audio driver two and untick ASIO. Sometimes it pops up all the time, this is really annoying. And by the way, you don't need it anymore because you, working with PCAV and audio tracks only. Okay, now mark it again, everything from the one to the end of the track. Okay, and then so zero, one. Okay, you go to the beginning of the track and then you, um, you lower down the volume so it sounds not too quiet, not too loud. So, and this is always good. And then um, click on mixer and go to bounce. And then you uh, save your file wherever you want to have it to, to save it. Okay, that's it actually. And um, yeah, if you have any question, leave some comments. I would be happy if you would subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And uh, I wish you a nice day and have a lot of fun with mixing down your tracks. If you have any questions, just send me email or leave, leave a comment. Okay, bye-bye, you Bernie.